All right, I'm going to show you how to build a um, texting, SMS texting autoresponse app. Okay, it's going to be called No Texting While Driving. And the idea is you turn the app on, set it next to you in the car, and if someone texts you, it'll send back a nice auto response um, so you don't have to pick up the phone. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. And um, I'm going to name this thing No Texting While Driving. Okay, and that'll just give me a blank um, project page, and I'm just going to put a title in here, no texting. Okay, and I've got an emulator set up here, but this is going to be the emulator I'm going to use to test. So this is going to be um, like the other person that's going to text our app. Okay, and um, so let's open a new emulator, and this emulator is going to be the one we actually connect to. Okay. And you'll notice these emulators have um, little little numbers. So this emulator's kind of name is 5554, and the new one I just created is 5556. Okay, um, and this is the one that's going to run our app for us. Okay, and we'll be able to, to actually test the app with these two emulators. Okay, so I'm going to go back and start building the app. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is we need a component called a texting component. And it's a non-visible component, so you're not going to see this in the user interface. It doesn't appear. Uh, think of it as like this little guy that knows how to send text and it knows how to kind of look at the text that are coming in and, and respond to them. Okay, so we've got this nice texting component. And I'm going to go over to the behavior editor, to the blocks editor, go to my blocks, and our behavior is actually going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm going to grab a texting.message received event. And this is a very powerful block. If any text comes into my phone, okay, in this case it's going to be this 5556 emulator, um, whatever I put in here is going to happen in response. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, let's um, send, a, send a message back. So when a text comes in, I want to send a message. So the idea is this simulator or some phone texts this other phone and this phone's going to respond back. Okay, now um, we need to do a little bookkeeping. We, this is basically sending a message to no one with no message. Okay, so we need to actually set the phone number we're going to text to and we're going to need to set the message we're going to send. And notice I put these above the send message block because they need to happen first. Okay, the phone number that we want to send to is kind of the number of the incoming uh, message. Okay, so whatever phone number texted us, we just received it, we're going to respond straight back. Now, I don't want to grab this block. In fact, I shouldn't even be able to grab it. That's kind of a little, little glitch in the App Inventor. What I do is go to my definitions and grab this value block. And this is a reference to this parameter number that's going to come in. Okay, so I'm going to I want to send a text in response to receiving one and I'm going to send it to the same number that just texted me. Okay, my message is going to be pretty simple. It's just to be a text block and I'm just going to say um, I'm driving uh, text you later. Okay, and that'll be our message. So we're going to set the number, set the message and send the message. All right, let's try it out. Pretty pretty simple app. Connect to device. Remember, this is going to be just some random phone that's going to text my app. But 556, this guy, is going to be the, the phone that actually um, has our app running on it. Okay, so this will take, you know, 20, 20 seconds or so. Um, but the app should come up. As, you know, you'll remember, our user interface is very simple. It's just got a, um, a header, and that's about, that's about it. And uh, let me just get this guy ready. Okay, so we're just about to load. Here's our app. No user interface at all, but the app is running. All right, so now from this other phone, if I click on new message, and, you know, these emulators, it's nice because you can test with them, and, and the phone number of the emulator is actually this little code number that gets set up. 
So actually from this phone, the number I'm going to text is 5556. Okay, and the message I'm going to send is, hey dude, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to send this text from 5554. So I'm sending the text. And there it goes. Okay, this guy should um, receive it. He did, okay. And you'll notice he already auto-responded and this phone, 554, received our response text. 